Hi everyone, this is Alex, and this is an announcement of new chapters for January and February 2014. First of all, many thanks to the people who have already given me feedback and shared Odessa's first adventure, The Man in the Mountain, Chapter 2, Link, and Chapter 3, Link. A special thanks to my friends Timotej Kovacic and Anne M. Tedeschi Davidson. Timotej has been invaluable behind the scenes, and Anne's sketches of Odessa are a real delight. Remember, these stories are released under a Creative Commons license, so if you feel a surge of creativity when reading them, you already have permission to use this material. Chapters 4 to 10 in the Ogre's Lair Odessa's next adventure will take her to a dangerous, violent place populated by enormous men and women. However, by the end of her time there, she will come to see that first impressions can be misleading. Release Schedule for the next seven weeks, a new chapter shall be released every Friday afternoon. This will take us from Friday the 17th of January until the 28th of February 2014. By that time, I hope to have a new batch of chapters lined up, but as I have to balance this project with work and studies, I can't make any promises yet. Fear and feedback. I am very new to writing with a view to publishing my work, and truth be told, it is very frightening. I am often beset by the fear that it's all clumsy rubbish, that no one in his right mind would want to read it. It's too long, too short, too predictable, it's contrived, unoriginal, uninteresting. So I write and rewrite until there is nothing else I can do to make it better. That's not to say I am satisfied with it, but I can only go so far under my own steam. And this is where you can really help me. I'd like to find an editor, anyone interested? to review the stories before I publish them, but either in addition to an editor or in place thereof, I'd like you, my readers, to be my crowdsourced editors too. Let me explain. When I studied Shakespeare at university, one of the most striking things that I learned about him was his method of writing. That is, he would change the script in response to feedback from the audience. It is said that Shakespeare would watch the audience during the performance of his plays, and take note when they cheered and applauded, and when they got bored or booed the players. English audiences were very vocal back then. If people liked certain dialogue or characters, Shakespeare worked more of that material into the play. If the audience didn't enjoy other parts, out they went. This meant that the final version of the script could be radically different from when it was first performed. Whether it had more artistic merit is debatable, but one thing was for sure. The audiences loved it, and I suspect that this is one reason for Shakespeare's enduring success. He didn't have an elevated view of himself as an artiste. He had an incredible talent for telling stories, and he had plenty of stories to tell, or rather plagiarised by today's nauseating standards of copyright, and did his utmost to write plays that communicated his ideas and kept people entertained. What I mean by all of this, to return to our little project here, is that I would love your feedback, your encouragement of course, but especially your criticism. What do you think of the characters? What do you think of the descriptions? Does the plot flow? Does it stretch the suspension of disbelief? What would you like to see more of? What would you like to see less of? How does reading this make you feel? Wiki style editing. Following this invitation to shower me with your feedback, understand that these chapters are not set in stone. If months or years from now you discover this novel and think of something I could do better, even in chapter one, I will still be open to revising it. That's the beauty of an online novel. There is no final draft that I have to submit to a publisher, no deadline, no word limit. Naturally, with the passage of time there will be less and less justification or need to alter the earlier chapters but that doesn't mean it'll ever be out of the question. I hope that as Odessa's adventure unfolds, we'll all get a better sense of who she is and how she'll interact with the characters she meets. So, what do you guys think? Feel free to comment down below, hit me up on Facebook or Google+, Plus. check out the blog, theodessia.blogspot.com. Link, like this video, make a video response, favorite if you really want to. Thanks for watching, thanks for your feedback, and safe travels.